Hey everybody, today I wanted to go over the uh, software side of my shiny hunting setup. I went over the hardware side before, uh, now I wanted to go over the software side. This will probably be pretty short, uh, there's not much to go over that most people don't already know, though maybe you guys could find something useful out of this. Uh, today I've got my, right now I've got my uh, setup, this one's my uh, Elgato uh, 4K, um, how is it, Mark 2 Pro or something like that. And the other one I have also uh, is the cam link. So those are the two I use. Pretty easy, plug and play, uh, properties in OBS. You just look for them, find them, pretty easy. The other ones that are not, uh, well, they're easy, but the ones that you may not know about are the 3DS capture cards, which are, uh, I'll show on screen here because I'm not going to record it, but uh, they are the loopy one, which is they actually two of them because there's a DS capture card and a 3DS, so they're di two different apps, just a FYI. Uh, these are just plug and play. You just look for them in your in your capture software and the properties. After you launch the software, you can find it on Loopy's website. And it's, yeah, it's pretty easy. There's two sites. I think there's like 3DS capture and 2DS capture, and each one will have the software. Either way, I'll show them on screen. And there's like just video, some video settings, uh, some audio settings. Uh, you don't really need to touch any of this unless you want to mess with the audio. The video should be just standard, 100 quality, uh, FPS 60, pretty standard. So it's, I can't imagine any uh, system wouldn't be able to handle this. Uh, so that's the DS and 3DS one. The Katsukiti one, or Optimize, is a bit different. It uses a thing called NDS LCD. Uh, there are different versions of this depending on which Optimize card you have. For which system a like if you have a new 3ds a ds uh or a 3ds xl so just make sure you're getting the correct one i'll try to link it in the description for all these just to make sure you're actually doing the right one though uh this one's a little bit more complex than the loopy one i'm not going to go over all this all you really need to know is changing your product key uh, you can actually put your product key in here you can have up to 128 i'm guessing for how many uh, 3DSs you can have. That's the different thing about this. You do need license keys for this. If you do lose your license key or if you don't have one that comes with it, you might be able to cap uh, contact Optimize. It is going to be a Japanese, I believe, or Chinese. I forget which one. But you'll be able to hopefully get your product key for that if you're buying through eBay and the seller doesn't do uh, send the product key. Just make sure when you're buying a Katsukiti Optimize card from eBay, you are getting that. The next thing to note is just the screen ratios and the uh, which one you want to display, whether that be uh, only at the upper, upper and lower display, separate screen spacing. There's a lot of that. I won't go into that. That's just uh, in general stuff that you can mess around with uh, to get what you want to do. Usually I just go and throw it in the uh, both of them displayed and then I go, they, they separate different screens so you can go in the properties in your OBS and grab them separately like you do with the uh, with the DS capture for loopies. Uh, the last thing I wanted to go over was the uh, software that I use for my uh, capturing of the uh, encounters for my shiny hunting setup. So this one actually is a dude who made uh, this amazing software for auto shiny hunting counters. Uh, it's, uh, what is the app called? Yeah, Auto Shiny Counter. Uh, basically, this thing is amazing. You can have a single hunt or you can have up to multiple hunts. Uh, all you need to do is like put your source off or source of your uh, video in OBS as a source projection uh, and then clip the whatever you want on it when it comes up like a wild, like mine is wouldn't be like a crania dose or something like that or crania dose appears or anything really if you're fossil hunting the crane dose would be fossil hunting so it'd be you, you were given or something like that uh but either way this thing counts it for you without having to do anything i think that was the most annoying thing i did back when i really shiny hunted was trying to keep track of that and just like having to hit the button every time this does it automatically it's amazing the software is great uh, i'll be showing that right now it's um i'll link the video as well because it's amazing uh definitely go check it out because this is this is some really cool software uh, I was actually going to probably try to build it myself, uh, though this dude, uh, he he does leagues better than what I could have done. So definitely go check out the video and, and use the software and and uh, yeah, uh, look for hopefully more updates on this because uh, he said he was getting 
uh, some more. I'm not sure what else. Uh, the only the only thing I think that this one could uh, do would be when you're in a hunt is to record the uh, image path and counter path because every time you put that in you look for the image path and the counter path and it doesn't save it after you're done so you'll start the hunt and then you'll end the hunt and it'll just reset uh the paths in there so i kind of wish like if i'm doing this and i come back to it uh i could just load up a hunt uh instead of having to input the image path and the counter path every time like i have to do now that's really my only gripe with it uh just to note also <laughs> when you're originally setting this up you want to run this in administration mode that's like a big thing because you're gonna have to do the windows settings for the source that you have in obs uh, and that has to be done in administration because if you don't, then you won't be able to add it. It needs administrative rights to uh, write to a file. So you'll have like I here have here the Elgato and or projector Elgato and the projector cam link. You actually need a projector in it uh, for it to uh, recognize it. So that's pretty much it for this. Uh, really, I'll just be having this on my main screen on the Switch. I haven't really um, I'm hunting Craniodos right now. Craniodos. I keep saying it wrong. Uh, so that's I'll just pop up pictures as as it you know goes so I didn't want to take the time to try to record this and my screen and show all this stuff off the other stuff off so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this got something out of it uh, and if you have any questions uh, put them in the comments below I'll try to answer them and uh, yeah I'll see you in another video bye